Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your monthly reading for March 2023. This is for Scorpio, Sun and Rising. And if you're new to my channel, I do a traditional cultic cross spread. I also use astrology and my guides to help bring a lot more clarity, to get more specific with your reading. Scorpio, I do this because I love you. And I want you to feel like it's a personal reading as if we're here one on one rather than a general spread. That is my intention. And lastly, astrology has been around for thousands of years. And so it's really had major influence on divination and tarot, which came out in the 14th century. Uh, every tarot card is assigned an astrological element, a ruling planet. Uh, we go really deep when the two are combined and they're both aligned, uh, astrology and tarot. They're both aligned with the tree of life. So Scorpio, listen, this is it this is the month all right we've yeah, i've been talking about this we've been leading up to it march is a game-changing month it's a life-changing month and it's the beginning of a new era okay it's the it's the most important month of the year and it is the busiest month of the year now uh your readings have been uh i want you to know that out of all the signs Everyone's going to feel this. Everyone's going to feel this shift and everyone's going to feel uh, a lot of changes and transformation happening in their lives. Now, for you, you will have significant changes. Okay, Scorpio? And uh, the, it, it's it's going to be really big and you're already probably feeling it. And even, you know, considering your last few readings, it's been, you know, a, pretty rare and there's a lot of, you know, uh, abundance coming in and a lot of changes, a lot of transformations. Now, the reason I say this is because when we look at the two biggest aspects happening this one, the first one is Saturn moving into Pisces. This is huge. It's finally leaving Aquarius. It's been in Aquarius since 2020. It's moving into Pisces, okay? For one, that's great for you. That's a fellow water sign. That is really, really nice. And Saturn is a little bit nicer in Pisces. It's a little bit more fluid. Think about, you know, just the of, of water, the fluidity of water signs. This is going to be in your fifth house. And the fifth house rules love. It rules uh, creativity, self-expression. It rules uh, even children, procreation. Um, so Saturn, the, the taskmaster planet, the, the planet of life lessons, the planet of karma, you are going to be taking your relationships a lot more seriously. You may be getting married. You may be having kids in the next three years, okay? Uh, if you are already married, it's really just, uh, uh, or in a relationship, um, really really taking it you know to the next level or just getting really serious about it being a little bit more wholehearted about it and again yes a lot of y'all will have uh babies especially with saturn in your fifth house and this is if you're not here for love if you're not here for uh, relationships this is career as well this is career as well this is all aspects of your life okay uh it's it's it rules your fifth house the pleasure center right the play it's the house of pleasure so you're going to take things that bring you a lot of pleasure a lot more seriously too all right now the second big aspect that's happening for you, particularly Scorpio, is Pluto moving into Aquarius. Now, if you're into astrology, you know these are big deals. Pluto, listen, when was the last time Pluto was in Aquarius, Scorpio? Um, the French Revolution, the Industrial Revolution, the signing of the Declaration of Independence. We're talking 250 plus years. So this is... Uh, a once in a lifetime transit that we get to experience okay pluto even though it is a dwarf planet it packs a huge punch it is the planet of death and rebirth it's the planet of transformation and it is your ruling planet okay scorpio so this is going to be very significant for you and this is in your fourth house okay your domestic sector your uh the it's kind of like the foundations of life so think about again relationships all right but think about home think about home related matters think about um your house think about uh your family all of that uh with pluto moving into aquarius with all that transformation energy you could be buying a new house you could be moving in with a partner things that i've been telling you that's 
these are things that are going to start happening. Uh, think generational too, especially because families in this sector, um, uh, you could be moving into your parents' home. They could be, you know, selling a home and, and giving it to you and they could be, you know, uh, retiring. There's so many things. There's, you know, so much family karma involved with this aspect. Um, and once again, children, children are here. And so it really is all about your living environment uh, and, and, and how, you know, there's just going to be a lot of transformation and changes but a lot of you thinking about uh, we ways of transforming it too like what's not serving you well what's what do you consider you know toxic in terms of relationships or home matters uh do you not like living in the city that you're living in do you want to move to a, i mean but these are going to this is you know pluto and aquarius is it, this is 20 years of it okay this is 20 years it gets a little tricky because it's moving into aquarius in this month um up until june then it retrogrades back into Capricorn. Then it goes into Aquarius, January 2024 uh, 20, until January 2044. Can you even imagine like what life is going to be like in January 2044? It's so crazy to think about. But, you know, think about Aquarius, the uh, humanitarian sign, the, the sign that rules uh, uh, technology. So we're going to see a lot of advancements. We're going to see a lot of changes on a global scale as well. But... I'm going to talk more about those in the weeklies because, listen, I've already taken up a lot of your <laughs> uh, time. But um, just know that this is a big month. Comparatively, February, we only had about 16, 17 um, aspects. This month, double that. Okay. But really major ones. I haven't even talked about that full moon that's coming up in Virgo. I haven't talked about the fact that we have this new crazy beautiful new moon in uh, uh, Aries. I haven't talked about the fact that Mars is moving into Cancer, that uh, uh, Venus is moving into Taurus and its domicile. I mean, there is so much happening this month. So as you know, if you're a subscriber, I do leave all the key astrological dates in the description box. If you do want to follow along and stay tuned to the end, because after I do your reading, I pull more cards. I, I break it down week by week to give you a little bit uh, of an idea what to expect every week this month. Again, this is a big month. Now, Scorpio, before I begin your reading, the first thing I really need you to do right now is I need you to mark in your calendar March 1st. Write it down. Write it down. Mark it. Venus is conjuncting Jupiter. Okay. And so this is uh, not only the best day of the month, it's one of the best days of the year. Venus, the planet of, you know, uh, uh, everything we desire, right? Love, money, sex, everything, right? It's, it's you know, what Venus represents. Uh, basically, like, hugging Jupiter up in the sky, right? And and so Jupiter is a planet of expansion and good fortune and pros prosperity and, and, and profit. So mark that date in your calendar. You're just going to, it's going to, it's such a great, great aspect. It's a rare aspect. Um, and so uh, you could feel it a day before, a day after, but that is going to be an exceptional day exceptional day. I think that's actually the first time I've ever used that word in a reading. Exceptional. Huh. I really like that. Okay, Scorpio. So let's go ahead. Let's get started. See what's going on for you for the month of March 2023. Again, this is for Scorpio, Sun, and Rising. I'm very excited, Scorpio. All right. So, oh, well, uh, one more thing. Uh, actually, before I even do your reading, um, Oh gosh, wait, no, that's, uh, is that you? No, it's not you. Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, Scorpio, that was a false alarm. I was going to tell you something, but I was like, oh, wait, 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 that's not for Scorpios. Okay, so uh, let's get started. Who am I? This is one of those days. It's Friday. It's been a long week. Um, I am not one of those tarot readers that, you know, um, do this, uh, like, um, Full time, like the YouTube, uh, like I, I, I have like two jobs. So sometimes, oof, at the end of the day, I'm just like, ah, all right. But you know, here we are, and I love this because it looks like there is going to be a lot of transformation. As I said, there's going to be a lot of transformation for you, Scorpio. 
um, look at this. There's going to be some things that uh, I'm I'm not gonna, you know, I, 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 I never beat around the bush and I'm not gonna do it now. There is going to be something you may be disappointed with this month, but there's gonna be a reason for that, okay? So that's the first message that came through. Now, um, and when I say disappointed, I don't want you to think of, it's like, sometimes like, you know, you have to think about those moments where uh, like, for instance, like, uh, recently one of my favorite neighbors moved out I and mean, i was like ugh, bummer do you know what i mean like it just depends on how it resonates for you and i was really disappointed because you know they would get my mail when i was away if i was up you know like it was just like and i you know we i did that for them too but anyway let's go ahead and get started you got the ten of pentacles look at you all right this is you know when you think about the tree of life ten is you know, when you've reached that, you, it's just like you, your kingdom come, right? And so this is all about, it, it really is like the you made it card. Things are going so well for you. Things have been going so well for you, okay? Then think about last year. Scorpio, 2022 was a challenging year for Scorpios, especially with those eclipses, all right, in your sign. All right, there could have been some game-changing moments, and eclipses are game changers, right? They're they're big, they're heavy. We had a lot of other, you know, uh, Saturn, Uranus, square opposition. We had, you know, a lot of planets retrograde. It was, there were some ups and downs, but lately things have been, oh, so good. Almost to the point where you're like, whoa, this is so good. You can see it's raining pentacles in the, in the form of the tree of life. It's raining, raining money and wealth. I mean, things are going really well for you. So keep your energy up and just keep going after your passions and just, you know, really enjoy the moment. Enjoy this, okay? Uh, this is a lot of family energy attached to this too. So Scorpios, keep that in mind. Remember, family is going to be a big deal for you moving forward. Okay, and this is whether you're you're you know the family that you have uh, a new family that you want to start a new relationship that you're moving into uh, even again generational all right so but this is also a lot of legacy energy so there could have been something that you also really wanted so 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 bad and it's finally starting to happen or it finally started happening so I'm very very excited for you and I'm very proud of you Scorpio like I said 2022 wasn't easy for Scorpios and think about where you were last March. Think about where you are now. Scorpio, you're amazing. All right. Now in the heart of your spread, you got the eight of cups. All right. So you will be moving forward from something. Okay. You are going to be moving forward. You can see that he's leaving the cups here. And it's again, you know, speaking of eclipses, this is an eclipse happening in the background you see all that water there's a lot of rocks in the water okay so uh not easy okay it's not clear as glass it's not smooth water so this is not easy it could be kind of bittersweet you leaving a situation you leaving a relationship you leaving you know again like that reference i made earlier maybe you're moving and and and, and it's hard for you it's you know maybe you've lived somewhere for such a long time and you know it's just not been easy uh uh you're moving in with a partner let's say and it's not been easy trying to you know sell your place or it's you know the transition's been a little rocky or you're just so attached to your old place again what resonates with you right so there's something you'll be leaving this month okay but and it'll be a little bittersweet but you but it's for a good reason because there's something better for you out there okay you know that what it is may not be the right thing for you or it may not be working out for you so you will be uh, uh, moving forward and it's again a great thing that you're doing that you can see that you know he is wearing a red cape that's all about passion that's all about you know just having that power to move forward all right so that's really great you did get the ace of pentacles in your challenge area and you know Know, it's technically the challenge area it really is the breakthrough area and so ace of pentacles this is the biggest pentacle and you know the deck and it is the hand of spirit offering it to you and this really offers this new pathway this new beginning this new opportunity when it comes to money and wealth the pentacles are earthbound so it's our physical reality as well now with this coming through in your breakthrough area there is something that is uh there's a disconnect okay there's a disconnect for one okay so one thing for 
Scorpios is there could be something that you wanted that you didn't get actually or something that you wanted that you got and then it turned out that it wasn't what you wanted if that makes sense I know that can it's a little trippy but um, the other thing is Scorpio I want you to be really 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 open here okay I want you to be very 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 open and I want you to um, if you look at your spread here okay now I'm going to show you something uh, you did not uh, your two so you got two cups card you it's, everything's you've got one of everything right um, your um, two cups cards here are the ones where it's not like shiny happy you know like an rem song like when you know when they're 90 songs okay um so i want you to really feel like open your heart this month okay i want you to like really open your heart to to what's going on and what's you know the situations that you may be in this month but the ace of pentacles just again there could be something that also did come through and you just don't know quite how to handle it or quite uh, it's like you know sitting on the fence energy you know like a uh, uh, crossroads energy is the message coming through and so it's like something could come through this month and you're just like oh i don't know if it and it kind and it can be kind of conflicting so as an example uh you could be at you know this you could have like this great job and then you get this great job opportunity this you know new one and it may be like something that you're not really used to or in an industry that you're not, or the colleagues there you're not really sure about but it pays so well and it you know you've been looking for that change and so you're kind of like at that crossroad so again that's you know that just it's something to think about but as long as you trust your intuition as long as you open your heart you'll be fine okay Scorpio you are one of the most intuitive signs you know that right so it shouldn't be like you, you you'll be fine with that now you did get the four of swords all right so it looks like there is you know that came up in your crown it looks like there's a lot of y'all are going to take this month to just recover a little bit all right it's all about having that stillness of mind and I love the fact that you know the swords are the mental suit and I love that it did show up where it showed up in your reading okay because some of y'all will be looking for that and i encourage it i encourage it have that time to recover um if you if things have been overwhelming if things have been stressful have that time to just have that you know meditate if, if you need to and you know i always say uh you know travel is a force of good and you know when we're out of our own element it really we just see things and we get so much clarity so have those moments too you know travel some go somewhere even a day trip right or even and just go out to the river or the lake by your house or your apartment whatever it is and just really you know clear the mind but it's 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 so good to just take that moment spend time in nature go do some forest bathing um i don't even know if that's a thing anymore but <laughs> uh, it's always really good right it's to have those moments stillness of mind that equilibrium up here all right um so that's something so i love the fact that you got the four of swords a lot of y'all will be doing it this month and if 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 it's something if you're one of those really busy types and so much is going on and i wouldn't be surprised because jupiter and aries is in your sixth house of everyday activities of labor of health there's could be a lot happening this month i mean not in a bad way because jupiter is a planet of of good fortune and and good luck but it just means there could be a lot going on um and yeah with mars actually in gemini that's your eighth house all right so that you know you rule it you you rule the eighth house and, and it is you know the house of of, of, of death and rebirth and, and transformation okay and so there could be a lot happening there but there's really big house home energy um that's that's something that's going to be a big focus for a lot of scorpios okay um also because the eighth house does rule other people's money and so you there could be a lot of action and activity around that all right and when i say other people's money sure bonuses and commissions but thinking about like mortgages thinking about like buying new places is uh, thinking about even your partner's income maybe they are getting a new job or maybe they are doing something that requires them that's different part of that transformation for this month okay now you did get the two of ones all right and the root of your spread Scorpio listen um, the, 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 
it looks like you know there's there, there's going to be a point where um you're sort of planning your next steps all right and this is really good because you do have a vision you do have this great idea you have this you know you're it's like you the blueprints are, are are laid out and you're not really uh, you know jumping the gun yet right it's like you know i say it's like if you're on you know if you're on a a, a racetrack and there's the the person with the two flags that go like this and all the cars go that person's still just going like this. You're not going anywhere. You're you're strategizing, all right? And so that's really good, all right? So that's really good just to just lay out a plan and lay out a plan. When I say a plan with these, especially this month, one thing that I'm going to mention about this month, there's so many alignments that are happening that have long-term potential, all right? A lot of great alignments. And it's, and it's again, a very rare month. All right, there's a lot of alignments that give you the positive energy and towards uh, long-term goals, long-term potential, long-term commitments, okay? So this is really great, just playing it for the long-term. So don't think like a month ahead, two months ahead, think like a year ahead, think two years ahead, all right? Now, you did get the Five of Cups in your future, and so that's where I was saying earlier, there is gonna be something, this is a card of, you know, just, being a little bit disappointed about something that happens cups are emotions so there is going to be a little bit of grief a little bit of disappointment there's something that's going to happen this month where it you could be affected by that now here's the thing you can see he's looking at the spilled cups he can't even see the two full cups behind him all right so it's a matter of like i said just being you know raising your energy levels okay raising your frequency and then you will you know the higher your frequency the more you attract and this isn't even this is not just my opinion this is albert einstein this is nikola tesla this is you know we're all made of energy down to the molecular level you, any physics books i mean this is physics okay now one thing that i want to tell you is that um re it, it really is true and it's like i always say like think about like when uh divination and astrology and all that was like big in the 60s and 70s and you know everyone would go around saying oh man you got great vibes i mean it's because we we literally vibrate at a certain frequency because it's so true and it's and it's such a thing but um one thing that because i brought up albert einstein i do want to say that um he did say match the f match the frequency of the reality that you want and you cannot help but get that reality there you go okay so it's all about just really if there's anything that's happened don't you know dwell on it and don't look at it as if it was a loss or disappointment but do it in a way where you feel where you can feel empowered from it do it in a way where you can learn from it okay and so um spilled milk energy is coming so it's some for some of y'all it could be something that is actually like micro level and uh it's very personal to you um uh so that might be a little bit uh uh, uh hard for you to let go but it may not be uh something it, it may be that you just might be dwelling on it a little bit longer than you should but here's the thing <laughs> look up okay you see how he's looking down? Just look up. You got the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Um, this is huge. This is huge. Um, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. For a lot of y'all, um, I'm not gonna lie. This is there's it. it it's definitely gonna be for a lot of y'all. Uh, definitely family related there's going to be something relationship related but you know at the end of the day you got the queen of pentacles and the queen of pentacles sure she's the richest queen and this is in your future okay and so uh when i say richest queen she has the resources to take care of everybody in her kingdom she has the resources to take care of everybody in her family and herself okay that's how rich she is but that's how maternal she is too all right and so you will be fine you will be fine. Everything, you know, is is going to uh, work out in your favor. It's like that movie in the book, you know, The Hunger Games, where they say, like, may the odds be in your favor. They're in your favor, Scorpio. They're in your favor. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles, um, again, uh, a lot of y'all will have uh, go into, like, 
maternal paternal mode uh and, and not just like with children um sure children are involved but if you don't have children it it's just people that you care about within your world right people that you care about it can be your parents it can be your family it can be your squad your friends your bff like it's you're gonna that the side of your is going to kick in but you're going to have the resources you know to do that and it's bringing that wealth into your life again financially too yes sure financially as well um you do see the little bunny rabbit in the corner here and i always like to point that I, there's i always get a lot of messages from um from people and it always and i feel it makes me feel so good but you know there's a lot of people that watch my readings and they they say that they learn tarot from me so i i always like to point out like these little things that you know um not every tarot reader always does but you know there is a little bunny rabbit in the corner and that's you know fertility and growth and listen there's you're in this really beautiful space just you're just uh you're you're gonna be fine you're gonna be fine and then look at that you got the hanged man boom okay now the hanged man is all about <laughs> talking talk about transformation this is wow this is in your future too the hanged man is someone who looks at things in a new way too and he does it so dramatically right hangs himself upside down um and the hanged man obviously shows up you know with a lot of religious texts we, we've all heard of the hanged man um you see the halo around his head. You see the smile on his face. He put himself there again, very dramatically. And the reason why is because he needed to do that. He needed to do something that was just so outside the box, so not, you know, within his element to look at things in a different way. And so he hung himself upside down to see the world with a new perspective. Okay. And it's all because, you know, we're really prepping ourselves now. You need to have that new step because after the hang hang man, what comes after the hang man is the death card. Card, the card of transformation major transformation right and so you have to be prepared for that and you have to look at things in a new way and be willing to surrender some things that are not working for you anymore all right and so uh this it looks like this was actually meant to happen all right because in the heart of your spread you are moving away from this one thing okay and it may be kind of hard for you and it might be a little bit a little bit disappointing for you and it may you know cause you you know for some scorpios maybe a little bit of guilt uh maybe a little bit of just you know sorrow but um it doesn't seem that it's going to be uh like a it's going to be very personal to you and scorpios like you know you are you, you, water sign right just a little bit more sensitive than the other you know like the other like uh like other signs right um so it, it it know that you're fine know that you're fine and um you're just going to have to surrender it at some point whatever this loss or disappointing moment is okay just uh it's the best thing for you and you're and you're fine you're golden actually now let's get to your staff scorpio if you like this reading by the way it would be great if you like, subscribe, leave comments. You know I love comments. You know I love hearing from y'all. And um, if you're not a commenter, I love emojis. I don't even care what it is. I love the random emojis. If you want to send me an emoji of a, a, a boot, I love it. <laughs> and if you're a subscriber, you know, you know I love you. Thank you so much for being here with me every week. I wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for you. So I'm very grateful and I really do appreciate it. So Scorpio, let's get to your stuff. Look at you with your two pages. Wow. Um, all right, Scorpio. Uh, listen, you did get the four of cups. Okay. Now I say this card is like a test card. Um, here's the thing. This, okay, you're moving, you're, you're going through a transformative month. You're going, you've been going through a transformative process, okay? Now, there's a part of you, and it might have to do with, you know, the Five of Cups here and the Eight of Cups in the heart of your spread. There may be a part of you that has this fear of regret if you are moving into, um, of you know uh let's say you just you've been dating someone for four years and you decided to move in together or get engaged or do you know what i mean or you know maybe you know talk about having a baby there's a, a small side of you that uh a sense of like 
will I regret this? Okay. All I want you to know is like, if, as long as you, if, as long as you, what I said earlier, open, you know, your heart, right. And then tap into your intuitive side, but also hold on to that gratitude for what you have in your life right now. Everything will start making sense there. You'll have a lot more clarity. Okay. This is a big heart of gratitude. Okay. And so some of y'all, um, and that's not going to resonate with all Scorpios. There are going to be some Scorpios who are just looking for this transformation, who are ready to get going, who is very excited to just, you know, you're at the runner's mark and it's like, you're just ready to go. Or, you know, if we want to go back to that race car analogy, you're, you're sitting there just like, hurry the, and uh, wait, wave the flags already. You know what I mean? You're ready for this transformation, but you know, have this gratitude and appreciation of everything that you have in your life. Okay. Know that, you know, uh, 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 you know, gratitude is what really fuels the positive energies of this universe. And when you have that gratitude, I mean, we're talking the laws of attraction here, okay? Speaking of what I said earlier, how, you know, the higher your frequency, the more you attract. And you see this young man here who is, you know, he already has three full cups. The universe is actually giving him another cup. It's at eye level. He can't miss that. Uh, but look at his, his, you know, arms crossed. So it really is all about gratitude. And there is a big message with this card. I know it's a, a you know, minor arcana, but it's really, you know, sorting out that gratitude and understanding and appreciating what you have, okay, in the moment. And knowing that some people out there don't even get opportunities, all right? But one other thing I'm going to point out is that the hand of spirit here, you see this. The hand of spirit only shows up in the aces, all right? Only shows up in the aces. So this really is, oh, it really is significant in showing, you know, have that gratitude, have that gratitude and just take that moment to really appreciate what you have right now and everything will start making more sense for you. Now, you did get the eight of swords. It came in your external factors area. So again, there's that sense of, for some Scorpios, like, a little bit of fear, not wanting to, you know, uh, it's uh, of what's to come. Maybe you're already feeling this transformation. Maybe you're already feeling, uh, you know, the, the, the changes are brewing, changes are coming. Um, and it could be freaking you out because they could be new things for you. It could be like moving to a new city, moving into a new home, moving in with a partner for the first time in your life, dating someone new and it's going so well. And you know, it's, it's, and you're just like, oh my goodness, this has never been so good. Or even career wise, like, uh, just it, 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 earning everything that you're, you know, working for and just being applauded. And, you know, there's, you've been offered this, you know, new, upgrade is it upgrade promotion promotion that's it um just there's still a little bit of fear of 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 this new changes okay but i don't want you to do that all right i don't want you to do i want you to choose love over fear i want you to feel empowered not powerless right i want you to really really i want you to take off that blindfold now this did come in your external factors area so there is another possibility that it could be someone yeah, it could be. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so it could be um, it could be someone uh, that you may have to help someone that is very close to you. It could be a parent. It could be your partner. It could be uh, your BFF. It could be what you know, someone again, very close to you that feels a little uh, like they're the ones that they're where everything's going on in their heads. All right. Um, and it's going to be, it, it's going to be hard for them. And I think that you're going to be the person that, uh, is going to come through and, and, and bring that comfort that you're known to do. Now, listen, clarified, it was a seven of swords that showed up. Okay. So not only the eight of swords, but the seven of swords. Okay. So this is really, really face your, face your truth and, and, and be open to this transformation that's coming. Okay. You see that he's, you know, I call him the lying, cheating, stealing card. And again, this is external factors, but again, the energy of a lot of Scorpios, it, it's, it's just you. All right. And the only thing I'm going to say is don't look back. Just keep looking forward. Okay. Just keep looking forward. Don't look back. All right. Don't look back because you already got the five of cups, right? 
looking down, looking back, and now the seven. And he's he's looking back. He's not even looking the way he's going. He's gonna get caught. He's gonna trip. He's, there's so much potential that could happen. That's not great. So just keep looking forward. Okay, look forward. Not only like look forward uh, and not the past, but look forward positively toward what's to come. Again, there is something where there could be someone that is just in your within your orbit that's just not in a good headspace that you could you know really help out right now and there could also be someone that's possibly doing something uh this month that's a little underhanded and it's a little you know sneaky weaky and uh you don't want that you don't want that energy in your life all right so if that if you do find that happening call them out all right um it can even be you know a you know, whatever resonates with you, because there's so much home activity going on. Um, it could even be just like, you know, your uh, your neighbor stealing, you know, um, cherries off your cherry tree. Do you know what I mean? Like little things like that. It could be uh, or big things like maybe you found out that your landlord was charging you something that was illegal or some. Do you know what I mean? Like just. Yeah, but again, that's not going to resonate with all Scorpios, but some Scorpios may just, you know, keep an eye out. Now, you did get two pages, all right? So you got the Page of Pentacles. This is great. This is very Taurus energy. As we know, we are moving into Taurus season, or Jupiter's moving into Taurus starting in May, but we have Venus going into Taurus too this month, which is amazing, amazing. I want you to get so excited for that. But uh, Page of Pentacles, this is that newness, right? This is that new energy coming through regarding money, regarding wealth, and this is all that you want at this point. It's like you want this new thing, speaking of transformation, and listen this is you know first of all very grounded right and so uh there's that structure and stability all right moving forward this month is there's a lot of grounding for that all right and this is also it really is just you wanting to uh move into this new direction uh and whether it's something that you're monetizing so it's like a new job or a side hustle or uh, uh or uh even just a new job title but or bringing on a new client if you are an entrepreneur work partnering up with someone else but it's also something that remember what i said earlier pentacles are earth balance is something you're bringing into your reality but you know the page of pentacles is someone who's so grounded and he's someone who is very excited to learn the ropes and to really educate himself moving forward into you know all of these things that uh, uh can eventually turn him into the king of pentacles right now lastly page of cups so this is amazing this is uh, your final outcome and it's showing that there is you know and it's i love that how this is working out because remember what i said about the cups you got the two ones that weren't like the eh. now here you go you got the page of cups okay so this is very you by the way this is very scored a lot of scorpio energy attached to the page of cups now uh he's a dreamer he's 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 so visionary so imaginative um but all he wants to do is follow his bliss okay and this is with again something new pages usher in that new change okay um right under the ace all right if we're going sequentially all right so this is new beginnings new opportunities uh when it comes to love when it comes to something that's going to fulfill you emotionally so there could be someone coming through but there could also be a new job coming through there could be a new path coming through but it's going to be something where you follow your bliss all right now he is also just like you scorpio very intuitive and very very psychic but listen that intuition i really want you to embrace it this month i really want you to do that and there's a lot of creative energy attached to this remember there is that um uh, with Saturn moving into Pisces in your fifth house, that's just so much pleasure. And, you know, this is, I love that this came up in your final outcome. Pages are also uh, messengers, right? So that you could be getting a message, like a really great message uh, coming through. And that can be your, it, you know, physical world, like an email or a job offer, uh, signing of a new home, uh, just something that you're just, you know, it, really really just gets to you it opens up your heart um but it could also come from that you know your spirit guides all right so keep that in mind now as i promised scorpio i pull 
a card a week to show you, to give you a little bit of insight, give you a little guidance on, and, and this is in addition to the weekly readings that I do. Now, the first week of March, I already said, mark March 1st in your calendars, okay? That's going to be the one of the best days of the year all right now uh we have mercury going into pisces i mean the first week of march is huge i'm not gonna lie you know sat the week saturn uh goes into uh pisces but what i want you to know is the same day that happens we have that full moon in virgo virgo and it is is excellent it's excellent now um okay how do i explain this these are two really big transits and um, or aspects. And like I said, I'm going to talk more about Saturn going into Pisces in your weekly when it when it comes to that. All right. But um, the full moon in Virgo on the same. It's a beautiful full moon in Virgo, by the way. Um, and it's a great one. And go out there and look at it because it's going to be beautiful. Um uh, same day as Saturn moving into Pisces, this is your 11th house. Uh, the full moon in Virgo is in your 11th house. So that's your social network. So there could be a lot of activities with that. Okay. You could be making new friends. You could be spending a lot of time with friends. You could hear news from friends. Um, and there could also be some closure with some friendships too that, you know, weren't, you know, working out for you. Nothing in a bad way, but it's just, you know, just think full moons bring closure about what comes after closure new beginnings but and so uh the 11th house also rules um your hopes and dreams all right and so when you think about that what's really interesting about the 11th house is that uh quite often it's the people that you know the people in your network that you know whether it's your linkedin community or your friends or organizations that you belong to they're the ones that connect you to the people that or they are the people that can make your hopes and dreams come true so um i really love that for you especially because saturn is you know bringing that stability with you know pisces and again that is just in your fifth house of, oh my gosh that's such a you're amazing and then you got the hierophant all right so this is really great very spiritual uh, a very spiritual you know religious leader think about like the pope right as that pope energy and he has that deep sacred knowledge he has that deep sacred wisdom all right so much in fact that this is actually the first major arcana where other people appear all right so when you have that wisdom you you pass it you spread it along and speaking of saturn saturn it brings that structure brings that stability stability and the hair font that's what he does too this is a card of structure and stability and foundation okay remember i said that that is going to be a big thing for you moving forward in the next 20 years <laughs> 20 years with pluto going into aquarius but even with the next three years that's just a big thing just be becoming a little bit more serious with um you know your talents and and with family and relationships and oh gosh it's you're 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 definitely moving into an amazing an amazing like a you know a new era okay scorpio now the second week is huge too much there's too much to go over there's honestly there's you know march 16th there's uh, like five aspects that day that's crazy but you know that's when venus goes into taurus venus is and you know it's at home in taurus and you know this really is just like full blast of pleasure and passion and you know all these things that we desire it's just feeling so good it feels good to feel good right uh mercury's going into capricorn we'll talk about that in your weekly but this is a lot of you know we're it, it's a lot of we're prepping up for like that big uh new moon in aries energy and the sun going into aries with jupiter in aries so it's like we're prepping for that go big or go home at, like moment, right? That energy. And we're all going to feel it. We're all going to feel it. Okay. So the second week, <laughs> you got the King of Cups. I mean, now this is Scorpio. This is Scorpio. This is, you pulled your own cup. Well, the Kings are, okay. So all the Kings are fixed signs. Okay. Cups, right? Water. So fixed water sign Scorpio. There you go. So you pulled your own cup. This is mastering your emotions. This is someone who is, you know, leads with his heart. Okay. Leads with his heart. Has so much love 
all right, for the people in his kingdom, in his empire, but also a lot of self-love, all right? So I love that you got the king of cups, and this is you just being on top of your emotions, having that emotional stability, but there's a lot of creative energy attached to it, just like the page of cups. I mean, this is, this is amazing. Gosh. Okay, so let's go ahead. Sorry, I'm like I'm loving your reading. So the third week of uh, March. Let's see what's going on. That's we're officially entering um, Aries season. All right, and you know the sun is exalted in Aries, and um, that is the first day of spring. Yay! Right. Um, then a few days after this, so that's on March twentieth. Actually, the day after is that new moon in Aries. Whew, that one's big, and so. There's a lot of days this month where it's great to start something new, new beginning, new path, new relationship, new projects, new jobs. There's there's so many green light days for starting something new that have long-term potential. I've, I've, I've said that. Now, uh, March 23rd is the big day. Pluto is going into Aquarius. This is a huge, huge huge aspect again we're going to talk more about that during the weekly because you know some astrologers you know you can google it they or you know you in search it on youtube they tell you three four hours talking about this aspect that's how big it is uh and then mars is going into cancer um your fellow bff cancer water sign so uh the big thing is of course all that activity in aries just so much you know activity in aries so let's see what's going on for you boom the chariot um you're i can't even that's all i'm gonna say all right i can't even do people even say i can't even anymore i don't know but listen so we know Mars is going into Cancer, okay? And it's not really like it's 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 good. But the, here's the bigger message: is that this card is ruled by Cancer, and that's why I bring that up. And so um, a lot of things that have in your spread obviously has been synchronic with what's happening astrologically. But I don't know if you know that you know 2023 is the year of seven. All right, this is you know the, it, it, the chariot is seven, and uh, 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 seven is you know lucky seven. But it really is more than that. It's you know seven is uh, there's uh, 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 it's all about introspection, right? Um, if you're into you know like the law of one, there's you know seven rays of light that you know radiate throughout the universe and seven is such a significant number all right it's a very very significant number now um the chariot is all about finding that self-will and you know that that determination right that willpower to move forward okay you have all this right remember what i said don't look back look forward and it looks like by the third week you're going to find all that energy and all that passion to do so all right so i love that for you and i love that energy because he does move forward from any obstacles that that are you know challenging or just you know even things that he doesn't just like why am i even spending my time with you know on this because i have so, like look at all these other great things happening right and so i really love that energy for you now lastly um the last week of march is actually uh that is what's going on let me pull that up oh yeah all right so venus is conjuncting uranus which i love they're both in taurus and so a lot of love there a lot of love and even you know uranus is a planet of surprises and you know the unexpected right so you could find some you know, there could just be some magical surprising moments that day but again um uh, mars is trining saturn on the 30th the, i mean like every day this week i mean every Almost twice a week, there's alignments that are just giving you this long-term energy potential. And then with these two major aspects that is bringing this transformation, like you will feel it. You're definitely moving into new era. All right, Scorpio. So the last week of March, let's see what is going on for you, Scorpio. March is going to be amazing for you, Scorpio. Okay. It's going to be amazing. You got the pair. You got the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. All right. So 
Uh, hi, the two richest. <laughs> oh my gosh. You, I mean, this is all about money and wealth at this point. And when I say wealth, I want you to know, uh, again, earthbound, your physical world, your physical reality, uh, is if, if money's not a concern for you, if you're the Prince of Norway watching this video, like, of course, the chances are that it's like zero to none. But, you know, if you're all set with money and it's not even like you're not here for money at all. This is just within your world, okay? Now, the King of Pentacles, huge protector, huge provider, all right? Uh, he, you know, just like the Queen of Pentacles, okay? Really looking out for those within his world, within his kingdom, having the resources to do it. But one thing that I'm going to point out to you here, especially those who, again, like uh, that, that, um, uh, learning, they want to learn tarot. You do see that he does have the scepter that you that appears in the Empress card. Okay. Hello, that's amazing. Anything he touches basically turns to gold. All right, and he is the rich. Look at all that wealth around him. Look at all that wealth. This is, I mean, you're. I can't even. And the fact that, you know, it's very Taurus, okay? Very Taurus. And, you know, I did say Venus is conjuncting Uranus in Taurus that last week. So, um, you're, 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 this is going to be a great month for you. This is going to be a great month for you. It's just, you know, just have, you know, open your heart and, and have that stillness of mind and really tap into your intuition. And if there's something that, you know, does happen this month where it's just a little disappointing, just know that everything's prepping you like you're going to move forward from it. I mean, look at your four. Look at that. You got the Hierophant. You got the King of Cups. You got the Chariot and you got the King of pentacles i mean four very powerful cards in your future you got the queen of pentacles and the hangman your final alchemy you got the page of cups i mean this is gonna be an exceptional month for you i'm key i love i oh my goodness is that an hour <gasps> scorpio i'm so sorry i just did an hour for your reading sh oh my goodness i uh Okay, Scorpio, I'm gonna let you go. Sorry, that I I I've never done an I've never done a 50 minute reading for for a sign. Oh my goodness, this is literally you know when I say I want you to feel like it's a personal reading, I just gave you a huge personal reading. Like my client, like there. Oh my goodness. Anyway, Scorpio, I love you. I cannot believe I just did a 50 minute reading. Not that I'm saying that you don't you know deserve it or anything. That just flew by so fast, and I've never done one. That was this long. Scorpio, I love you. I'm going to let you go. Thanks so much. I love you. You're going to have an amazing month. Bye-bye.